Okay, so what we got here are a set of uh, Oxbeam LED headlights that I'm going to throw into the Outlander. Today's wash day. She was gross. Just caked full of mud and muskeg. It was just awful. And uh, while on our skeg smash, I had uh, actually wrecked a few headlights in her. One wasn't sealed all the way. I got in there and she filled up with water and grit and blew the ball boat. And so it's kind of fortunate that these come in the mail. Now I can pop them in there. Over here we have uh, the 9005s. They're uh, 60 watt, 6000 lumen for a 12 volt, 24 volt system. You can use them in your car. And uh, they plug in just like a regular 9005. And uh, on this side, we have the H11 series. Again, 12 volt through 24 volt system, uh, whichever it be in your vehicle your ATV, that'll work. 80 watt, 7200 lumen. And uh, what these ones have in them, they're kind of funky looking. This uh, kind of gold aluminum housing on, it's made for cooling. And if you look into the inside, there's a fan in there. As soon as these lights turn on, it spins to help keep them cool. So I don't know how well they're gonna do with uh, the water and the, and the mud and everything else packing into the back side of them. I'm pretty sure that they'll hold up. Along with uh, the light for this little ballast thing here, it uh, stops the bulb from surging and it keeps the constant flow of power going through it so you don't have that little flicker and you got a nice bright beam of light. Uh, this one here doesn't have the fan in it, this 9 to below. It uh, just has some, some cooling fins on the back, not as extreme as those other ones. And around them uh, is a plastic guard for the uh, the diode. It'll help keep the water and everything out of them. And this one's all sealed up too, as you can see. On both bulbs, they just fit into the back of the housing, and they lock in. And this uh, big orange seal stops any moisture from getting into uh, into the lens, to the housing of it, and. Uh, creating your uh, bulb to burn out. So, yeah, we're just about to put these suckers into the into the quad and we'll go from there. Right here I go on ahead and pulled the, uh, the bulb housing, the lens and everything right out of the quad just to show you how easy they go in. It's really only one way they can go in, is the way the little cogs are shaped. You just slide it in, give it a turn, locks, rubber seal, Seals all the moisture from getting into the inside around there, and you're ready to rock and roll. And that's what the inside looks like. And you just, once it's installed, I'll take the little ballast looking thing here, plug it in. You can see it's got the rubber rings around it, you can seal out any moisture, and it'll clip together, and then in this into the pigtail of uh, the wiring in the unit. In the quad or vehicle, whichever you uh, desire to put these in. And that is it, right there. Right there's the other housing where the 9005s will go into. And again, you just take them, slide them in. You can only really go in one way. They go, twist and lock in there. Just like that, nice and tight pigtail. Then again, plug into uh, the existing pigtail. Plug those two together, and you're off to the races. Okay, you guys, I got them all uh, hooked up, wired in, set. Uh, I haven't uh, tucked that away yet, that excess wire and uh, that little ballasting there. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool. You kick the key on, and you can hear the fan start up in the back of that. Uh, gold bulb there. And there she is, you can hear it. I tell you, just by looking at the front of these, they're crazy bright. And uh, I, can't, I, I can't wait to get out and give them a try down the, down the trail. 
we got a rally coming up next, uh, actually in about a little over, a little under a month. And uh, heading back up to the lake now next weekend, so we're going to give them a whirl up there on the trail. Take care.